Hi there. Welcome to another episode of the Successful Writer Podcast. Hope everything is going well for you today. Our episode today is going to be all about Patreon, how to use it, whether you should use it, when to know if it's time to use it, what kind of bonuses can you offer to your patrons, all the things like that. So before we start, the reason Patreon's on my mind is I have started with Melissa Storm, a Patreon group for authors like you. You can get writing help in terms of like productivity, word counts, daily word sprints. Um, you also get, a, there's a marketing track you can sign up for. So it's like daily videos about book marketing and all the things. So I will be sharing a link to that. I just wanted to mention that so that you guys know why. Uh, Patreon's been on my mind right now. Even before I started this Patreon group for authors, though, I have had a Patreon group for my readers for a couple years now. I have mentioned it a few times before on the show as a way that I have been raising funds for Liberty in North Korea. So my Patreon's slightly different than certain novelists and how they have their Patreon set up. So basically the money is going to Liberty in North Korea. The readers know that. And so we frame it as a fundraiser and as a way to have ongoing support for this organization. And then what the readers get out of it is free eBooks and audiobooks. So the way I have it set up is there's actually not a difference in tiers. There are different levels. So I think you can start with $3 a month. You go up to 15 or $25 a month, but no matter what, you're going to get the same thing. That's how I have it set up right now. At the beginning, it was like at the lowest level, you could request one free ebook a month. The higher levels, you could request some paperbacks and get early releases and things too. Since my writing schedule has slowed down in 2020 in terms of the fiction that I have been working on or not working on as much as most tiers, I decided to just make all the tiers equal because most of the people at that point had kind of been with Patreon long term and had sort of read everything <laughs> anyway. So the way I've got it set up is people sign up for any tier that they want to commit to in the like three to $25 range. I forget if my highest tier is 15 or 25. It's in that range. And then at the start of the month, they get an email from me through the Patreon platform that just says, Hey, let me know what you want your free ebook or audiobook to be this month. And then my assistant will send them the download link to get what they request. So it's pretty simple. It's pretty easy to manage. My assistant basically handles all of the uh, behind the scenes and all the logistics for Patreon. And then I just promote it. So the thing that I love about it, there are a couple things I like. I really like that we have connected it to this charity, to Liberty in North Korea. You absolutely don't have to support a charity. Um, and you certainly don't have to, even if you wanted to support a charity, you don't have to send all the money to them. You can set it up however you want. And I think that it is absolutely 100% valid to ask your readers to support your work and your art. So don't feel like you've got to be connected to some, you know, world changing organization or something like that. What you're doing as an author with your books is valid enough for people to pay money for it. Next thing you want to ask is just sort of what kinds of tiers and perks do you want to give your patrons? If you've got a very large backlist, like I've got almost 40 books out. So that's why I just said, hey, you can request a free ebook a month. I also have maybe about half of those available as audiobooks that aren't exclusive to ACX. So I can give codes for those as well. So if you've got a great backlist, you could do something as simple as that. Great by, by big. <laughs> I don't mean like your books are great because I'm sure they are. Um, but even if you have a small backlist, I'm sure your books are great. So if you have a large backlist, then you can do it kind of like that. You can also choose to do some behind the scenes. You can do some swag. Patreon actually has it set up now so that for a little bit, they take a little bit more of the cut than they normally would, but you can actually have them send swag to your different tiers. So like you could upload your logo or your book cover and people at different levels can get like I don't remember all the things like tote bags and mugs and, you know, like merch type stuff. That's another option. You could do other perks and bonuses. Like I've got 
the Unabridged Christian Fiction Audiobook Podcast, and I let my patrons vote to, about which audiobook is going to be released next. So anything that's exclusive is going to be great. If you do short stories or epilogues for your books, any kind of bonus content could be awesome. If you wanted to do short stories that people only read on Patreon or things like that, those are all the different kinds of perks that can work really, really, really well. A couple things to keep in mind is that if your books are in Kindle Unlimited, you can't give them away as downloads, but you can do other things like all of the merch ideas, bonus content, things like that. Just be careful not to violate your KU terms. Lindsay Baroker is an author and podcaster who's got a really smart system where her books are in KU, but she makes them available to people on Patreon before she enrolls them into KU. So that would also be a neat way to do it if you are in Kindle Unlimited. All right. So those are some of the things that you can do with Patreon. When you know you're ready is a little bit different. It's, it's going to be a little awkward to start a Patreon group too soon because if you only have like one or two people sign up and the rest is just kind of crickets, it can be a tiny, tiny bit awkward. The kind of rule that I have heard, and this isn't a rule specific for authors and novelists. This is more of a rule for just people who are podcasting or using Patreon for courses, um, things like that. A general rule is maybe about 1% of your active audience will go ahead and become a Patreon supporter. So really what I would do is do the math yourself. How much money would you want to bring in a month for it to be worth your time? And also like, what's the minimum number of patrons you would want to start with again for it to be worth your time? So let's say you want to start with 10 patrons and they're all spending, you know, $5 a month. Um, so, hey, that gives you $50 and then that's 10 people for you to kind of start with and you can grow from there. And so then what you would need to do is just say, okay, if you want to get 10 signups, do you have, is 10 more than like 1%, right? If you follow that trend where only 1% of your audience size is going to follow you and support you on Patreon, do you have enough to make that happen? All right, so those are some things to think about. And for anybody who's interested in checking out either of my Patreon communities, the one where you get free Christian fiction each month in audiobooks or ebook format, and the money goes to support Liberty in North Korea, is at patreon.com slash Alana Terry. And then the brand new one for authors, where you can get daily word sprints, marketing videos, um, regular ongoing trainings and things like that. That is at patreon.com slash writing cave. So I hope to see you in our Patreon community. I hope you're having a great day and we'll talk to you soon.